So I used to be very against, I call it dirty books or fuck books, whatever you want to call them. I thought, anytime I heard about them, they seemed like the Cinderella story, you know what I mean? Very heteronormative, gender roles, and I was kind of snotty about it. I'd never read any, but I judged them. Um, I don't need facts to have opinions. <laughs> I'm American. Uh, <laughs> but, like, when Fifty Shades of Grey came out, I had, one of my friends was trying to push it on me, and she told me about the premise. I was like, oh, this is the Cinderella story, right? Except now, instead of glass slippers, she has a ball gag. <laughs> right, instead of a, she doesn't turn into a pumpkin, and it gets shoved up her bum. Um, right, but this, it's, it's always a rich guy. We always have, like, the quintessential rich guy which, can't we do better than that with our fantasy man? Like, my fantasy man is Gandalf. <laughs> right from Lord of the Rings. Favorite moment, I think, sums up his character. He says, I have some stuff I have to do. I'm paraphrasing. <laughs> <laughs> some stuff I have to do. I'll be back in five days at dawn from the east. And then he shows up five days later at dawn from the east. You're like, that's a fucking man. <laughs> Shows up when he said he was gonna. Right, I'll take Fifty Shades of Gandalf the Grey. That's what I would like. Right, and then the girl in Fifty Shades of Grey is a virgin in America. <laughs> in her 20s. So I was like, was she raised in a well? Where do we find this woman? <laughs> Would, obviously, everybody loses their virginity when they're, you're ready. But if you start reading these books, they're all virgins. And I'm like, where is this town of women <laughs> who are like virgins, and then guys just show up and uh, pound them? You know what I mean? This is crazy. And this is the part that bothers me. So this girl meets this rich guy. And I don't mean like dental plan rich either, which <laughs> I think we can all agree is rich. Um, <laughs> if you can get out of both sides of your bed, that is, you're loaded. Um, <laughs> My bed touches three out of the four walls in my bedroom. <laughs> That's a call for help. I, so he, she meets this rich guy. They have sex. And the first time she has sex in her entire life, she has an orgasm. <laughs> I was like, is this a science fiction novel? <laughs> Right, that's what I made me so angry because it's, I feel like it's like so, these are supposed to be sex books for women and then you're gonna read something that hardly ever happens to a woman the first time? What are you talking about? You gotta put some time in, do some solo flights, figure your shit out. <laughs> and then you start popping them off, you know what I mean? My first time was like Fifty Shades of a Panic Attack. <laughs> There's all these thoughts running through my mind, none of them sexy, right? If you did a voiceover to my first time, it was like, um, what is that noise? Why does it sound like we're walking in a mud puddle? <laughs> oh my God, is that the sound of my fat slapping? I don't want to listen to my fat slap. Why does it feel like my organs are being moved? Are my organs being moved right now? I think his dick is in my kidney. Is it possible his dick is in my kidney? I don't think I can ask, that seems rude. You know, I'm just gonna Google it. I'll Google it later. What would I Google? Would I Google dick kidney or there's a kidney in my dick? I'm not sure. Oh my God, is there a fart button in there? Cause it feels like he's pushing on a fart button. <laughs> Am I gonna fart in the middle of this? Oh my God, if I fart, I'll cough over it. I'm just gonna cough over it. I'll just be like, <laughs> you don't hear anything. You don't hear anything. Am I peeing? Is that a pee feeling? Could I pee in the middle of this? Oh my God, could he pee? Could he pee? Because I think they only have one hole. Don't they only have one hole? Was I supposed to ask first? Is that the polite thing to do? Like when you go on a road trip, you say, make sure you pee before you get in. <laughs> Thank you, Carolyn. Charles, thank you. Thank you. Oh, you guys. You guys.